Hello and welcome to Astro Design. In this video I'm going to talk about the new moon on the 2nd of January that falls in the sign of Capricorn at 12 degrees. It will occur in about uh, 6 in the evening, depends on where you live uh, in the world. Before I begin, I invite you, of course, to subscribe to my channel, it's free, and you can get available information about you, your life, and another interesting development uh, stuff. Generally speaking about the Moon. The Moon is a feminine planet that represents the emotional world how we express emotions and what is happening within us in terms of emotions. In addition, the moon is our mind, our ways of thinking and perceiving reality. Emotion is a very powerful fuel for action and that is why the moon is also what motivates us in life. It is also a planet that shows our mother in the map and on women's, uh, women's map it is indicative of her feminine behavior. In the map of all of us the moon indicates how emotionally and mentally stable we are. The periodicity of the moon is between 28 till 29 days each cycle, each month. A day when the moon is new begins an important month cycle for us in terms of our motivation and for the next 28 days. In the video I will describe the position of the moon using human design and gene keys. I will tell you what the challenges are in this specific position and how they can be overcome. I will also do a general interpretation according to astrology. But in order to understand what effect this has on your own life, you need to check which house it takes place in your astrological chart and whether it creates important aspects with your uh, planets from the birth chart. Then you will feel it most strongly. In terms of human design, the moon is going to reside at gate 38, the gate of resistance struggle, opposition and stubbornness. This is the gate of the warrior. There is pressure here to fight, to insist on some cause. But the duality here is the energy of struggle or the lack of struggle. It is important to understand that fighting everything is like fighting windmills. There will be no results to the fight, just exhaustion and energy loss. This gate is in search of a higher cause to fight for, but it's only a fuel without awareness. This energy is individual and therefore the struggle can only come from within. Such people cannot be forced or drawn into the struggle because this energy will not listen. So this time of the year we should ask ourselves, am I fighting my own battles? Should I insist on continuing the fight that I'm into right now? This is one of the deafness energies in the map. So whenever it doesn't want to fight or persevere, it doesn't listen to anybody. Very stubborn. This energy is not fighting for tribal or collective goal, just for what is right and appropriate for it personally. So there is always a personal agenda here. We are going to have a week of deaf people fighting windmills for the sake of the struggle and not for any noble cause at all. In addition, without having energy in front of it, which is the 28th gate, as in the map of the new moon, people will be involved in the wrong struggles for them and for goals that do not belong to them, which will lead to a lot of frustration later on because the results will not be worth the fight or there will be no results at all. 
There will also be people who will start to struggle out of self-interest and selfishness without foresight and without consideration with any factor other than their blind arrogance. Therefore, this week may be dangerous in terms of the level of violence of people towards each other. It has the potential for unhealthy stubbornness leading to exhaustion. The moon will reside at line 2. All second lines are about projecting outward, without depths or understanding. There is no question here of whether to fight or not. Just, just a projection is that it has a nature to fight. It's a fighter who is willing to fight anything and, uh, and at any moment. But in practice, it really doesn't want to fight at all. On the contrary, because of fear of death or bodily harm, this energy can give up all its principles in a time of crisis or struggle. The energy of the second line is very easy to lure into something because it is unaware of itself and if somebody will tell it some kind of compliment um, about its ability to fight the, um, the good goal uh, to be at the side of the good guys, this energy can jump on it. So what I mentioned about blind struggle is even more amplified because of the presence of the second line. From the part of astrology, this new moon and sun are at a harmonious aspect to Uranus. So it amplifies our intuition and instincts blend together to understand what to change and how to adapt. It is a stabilizing aspect that can help us mo move uh, through the upcoming changes. This aspect can also lead to something new and exciting in our private lives without provoking chaos and clutter along the way. So our awareness is on the rise this month and if we can listen to flesh intuition, we can avoid economic and communication problems. The planet Mars enters a difficult aspect to Neptune. Scandals and slander, deception and difficulties with our energy levels. Indicates the urge to experience something new, to lead the revolution in accordance with our ideals, as Sagittarius loves. But there is currently a, a huge fog on these impulses, so there is nothing to get excited about and act on. This may result in more harm than use. Conjunction between Venus, Pluto and Mercury will certainly lead to revolutions and transformations that pertain to money, values and communication worldwide. So to conclude, each one of us should examine what are we fighting for. Does it have a higher meaning for us? Will it help us achieve something? Your battle should help you find the true meaning of your life and purpose and to contribute to your survival. I wish you all take care and bye-bye.